So who is a better host for Arduino Miner? This is an easy question with tough answer. Tough to answer because there is no single solution that is suitable for everyone. There are many factors that decide which solution works best for you. I can only try to show you what are the consideration that you might need to take into account before committing. Let's jump into the contender of the day. The first contender is ESP as I2C Master. ESP here could be ESP01, ESP8266 or ESP32. I'm using Vimos D1R2 Mini here. You may view my other video on how to build one if you like to have one. The second contender is a Raspberry Pi as I2C Master. I2C Master here is not limited to Raspberry Pi 0W. It can be replaced with any other single board computer like Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, 4, Orange Pi, Banana Pi, just to name a few, as long as they have I2C interface available. The third contender is Raspberry Pi as USB host. Pardon my rubber band strap Arduinos on the new perf board because I just want to collect data without accidentally shorting the I.O. pins. Again, the USB host is not limited to Raspberry Pi. Any computer with USB should work. I purposely leave out laptop or PC from the contender list because for me, they are not the ideal host unless you have them running 24-7 already. Okay. The factors that you will need to consider are Earning Do you want to maximize the profit? Squeezing every single drop of duco from each Arduino Power Wanting to use as little power as possible so you don't have to foot the electricity bill Hardware cost Cut down the initial investment of hardware will give you a higher ROI Skill whether you like the easy way out or wanting to learn how to solder and build the mining rig yourself. Space. To have a mining rig that is small enough to hide out of sight or not. Max workers. Number of supported workers do impact how much you can mine do coal. Although the efficiency drop might put this effort out of the consideration, but it's a good FYI. Throughout the comparison, these are the constant across them. I'm using SVKO pool, so the communication time between the host and the pool is more or less the same. The internet is on optic fiber, Raspberry Pi setup is using LAN cable, and ESP is using Wi-Fi. This does gives a little disadvantage for ESP, but I would think the difference in latency shouldn't be too big. Then finally, I'm using the same 10 Arduinos for all 3 setup. Let's jump to first topic on earning. Earning is pretty easy to understand because it's just a share rate. The more share you submit within the time frame, the higher earning you get. Although there's a limit of share per second, but I do not know what's the actual number. Let me know if you know the answer. Also, rejected share just mean Waste in computation power because rejected share does not contribute to reward. Just to give you an actual view on the share rate, there will be a 1 minute recording of the mining process for each host after this. This is the ESP I2C host. I've modified the ESP code so it can print the time as well as the number of accepted share. The video speed is real time. So this is the share rate you should get when you are using this setup. In the first minute, ESP setup get 54 shares accepted, and that gives us 0.82 shares per second. I can't say it's fast or slow until we compare it with other setup. 
This is also real-time mining recording. Because both I2C and USB uses Python script, I'm placing them together so you can see the similarity and differences between them. Both video is recorded at different time of the day. At 1 minute mark, we have our first result. The performance of both setup seems to be on par, obtaining 4.1 share per second. Then we look deeper at the actual accepted share. Seems like the I2C setup is faster than USB setup by 10 shares in the first minute. Now the question is, is this a sustained share rate or is it because I2C setup is lucky? to get easier job in the first minute. To find out the answer, I leave them running for 30 minutes. Of course, I'll not let you sit there and watch a full 30 minutes mining video. I've done that for you. Before I show you the result, version 2.74 Arduino code was released and the mining difficulty is changed. This will change the shares per second, but I'm too lazy to restart the data acquisition, so bear with me on this data that was collected for version 2.73. Turns out, I2C was lucky in the first minute. The data point here record the accepted share per second with interval of 1 minute, and the winner is Raspberry Pi USB setup with 4.5 shares per second, followed closely behind by Raspberry Pi I2C setup with 4.1 share per second. ESP I2C without a doubt fell in the last place, it fall behind by a lot. I think this result makes sense because ESP I2C setup can only run a single thread, meaning ESP can only do one thing at a time, either requesting jobs, sending job to Arduino, pull for result and send it back to the pool. All these processors are time divided across 10 Arduino. Whereas for Raspberry Pi setup that support multi-thread, it also makes sense that USB setup is faster because each Arduino have its own dedicated USB cable while I2C is sharing two wires. You might say, hey, USB is also using serial protocol. No doubt that is true, but for USB 2.0, it is running at 480 megabits per second, while I2C is running at 100 kilobits per second and that's 4800 times faster. To summarize, using ESP as the benchmark, Raspberry Pi USB is 4.8 times faster, while Raspberry Pi I2C is 4.5 times faster than ESP I2C setup. After running the mining rig for 30 minutes, it is clear that USB is faster by I2C by 7.8%. ESP I2C does show its limitation here, so if you are looking for the best share rate, USB is the right choice. When it comes to efficiency, perfect efficiency means all submitted share are accepted and there is no rejected share. ESP is the winner here because it has zero rejected share. But if we look at the overall accepted share, the rejected share is negligible. When it comes to power, I think this is one of the area where most people is concerned. Concern whether will this mining rig increase the electricity bill. From what I can see, all the setup shown in this video does not consume a lot of power. Maybe you are using solar energy, then this is one of the area that you need to keep an eye on. ESP consume around 1.3 watt, which is lowest among the three. For Raspberry Pi I2C setup, I'm using Raspberry Pi 0W. The power consumption is slightly more at 1.476 Watt. For Raspberry Pi USB setup, 
I'm using Raspberry Pi 4 because that's what I have and I'm not sure if Raspberry Pi 0 support my USB hub. Anyway, without measuring, Raspberry Pi 4 will consume more power. And together with externally powered USB hub, I guesstimate the power consumption to be around 6 watt or more. So ESP is the winner in this category. Now, we comes to the topic of cost. How much money is needed for this initial investment? I'm sure everyone heard of silicon shortage and it is driving up the price. The price I show in this table is the price that I need to pay in my area. So it's going to be different for each and every one of us. To own a mining rig, these are the material that I use. It's pretty self-explanatory here. The rig material refers to the perf board, standoff, wires, header, etc. To sum up the cost of each setup, ESP is the winner because it is the cheapest at $46. Raspberry Pi I2C is not much expensive than ESP if you are using Raspberry Pi 0W. However, the price do increase to $131 if you are using Raspberry Pi 4. Raspberry Pi USB setup is the most expensive here because of the additional USB hub. I'm using a good quality USB hub, that's why it costs $30 for me. With this, we can further calculate the cost per share ratio. Cost per share ratio means how much it costs to submit an accepted share. Raspberry Pi I2C is the cheapest here. It's ironic that although ESP is the cheapest in terms of cost, but it is the most expensive when it comes to a cost per share. What is the skill set needed when building your beautiful mining rig? The way I evaluate this is by number of skills needed to build the rig. Low means everything is pre-built and you just need to connect them together. In this case, Raspberry Pi USB just need to plug in the power, the USB hub and the Arduinos. Medium means more skill are involved. For example, soldering is needed when working with I2C. That is also a high difficulty which I think involves PCB design, SMD component soldering, 3D printing, etc. It all comes down to your preference whether you want to have out-of-box experience or to challenge yourself to build something new. When it comes to space, each setup does have different space requirement. The most compact mining rig in this video is this ESP setup. It fits within your palm. Raspberry Pi I2C setup is also similar to ESP setup. With proper design, it should fit nicely within the perf board as well. But since I did not rework the perf board, it took around 20% more space than ESP. Raspberry Pi USB takes more space because there's more component involved, like USB cables, USB hub, bigger Raspberry Pi. This bar chart roughly shows you the space needed. Raspberry Pi USB takes 5 times more space than ESP. Now we come to the final topic, number of workers. All the numbers here is theoretical number, so your mileage might vary. For USB, each USB controller support up to 127 devices. This translates to 127 Arduinos can be connected concurrently. For I2C with 7-bit addressing, each I2C master can connect up to 128 slaves. Raspberry Pi have two I2C master. This translates to 256 Arduinos can be connected. But my Raspberry Pi only prints 117 addresses per I2C bus, so this brings down the number to 234. For ESP, although it is also using I2C that should support up to 128 I2C slaves, but judging by the single thread ESP have, the share rate is going to take a dive, a deep one too. Don't forget that Duino coin have coca system that drop the mining efficiency per added worker. So the sweet spot for number of workers and efficiency is around 25. This number may change in the future. The pool also have limit of 50 workers. So unlikely you can hit the maximum theoretical limit. To further visualize the number of workers, here is roughly 100 Arduino Nano where there are 9 Nano per board. 9 Nano because the, the 10 port USB hub need to spare one port for hub daisy chain. Each nano is connected to USB hub with dedicated USB cable. The USB hub will then be daisy chained together. You may realize it is not 127 nanos because each USB hub is counted as one device. 
More often than not, the USB hub may consist of two USB hub internally. Together, they will eat into the usable USB device count. Also, it is recommended to have powered USB hub to ensure sufficient power and reliable communication. This is the visualization of I2C connected Arduino. Two I2C buses of 7-bit addressing should theoretically support roughly 250 Arduino nanos. Raspberry Pi 0W obviously will be overwhelmed and will need a higher powered brother to take over. The sheer number of nano here is a feat in itself. Highly likely they'll hit into bottleneck of 100 kHz I2C speed. Each nano consume around 20 mA and 250 of them will consume around 5 amperes. A dedicated power supply is required to power them separately. This is the radar chart generated based on the score I graded on each area for each setup. This pretty much summarizes everything. ESP is best in space, power and cost saving, but it lacks earning power and more worker will make it worse. It also requires medium level skill to build a mining rig. Raspberry Pi I2C is best in connecting to a number of workers, doing well in all other areas except for skill as it still needs some level of skill as ESP is set up to build a mining rig. Raspberry Pi USB is perfect in earning reward and it doesn't require special skill to set up the mining rig, but it does need more initial investment and space to accommodate the rig. Long term wise, you consume more power to keep it running. Which one is the best? The choice is in your hand. And that's the end of my video. If you think this is interesting and it helped you, do consider to donate to Co to JK. Thank you very much to support me. Hit like, share and subscribe. See you next time.